Hey, what's up you guys? After show reaction, today I'm going to be reacting to some more Legends of Tomorrow Season 2. This is episode um, 10 and it's titled, uh, what is it titled? It is titled uh, The Legion of Doom. Uh, so let's get into it. Ooh, eight months ago, okay. Damien Dark, the man behind tonight's siege of Star City was killed by the mass vigilante known as the Green Arrow. Good time. Amateur cell phone video captured his final moments putting an end to the chaos that has gripped the city. Ah. So this would be where you got picked up from. All right, I was asking where he was picked up from. Oh, oh. But this man used to be Ra's al Ghul. Uh, we haven't met. I'm Eobard Thawne. <laughs> it's like, I'm wow, really? <laughs> wouldn't be such a problem if you two idiots hadn't lost the Longinus Medallion. Yeah, I seem to remember you being there as well. Until you weren't. <laughs> If you have something to say to me, Malcolm, I suggest you keep it to yourself. He brought so, me Damien it seems like quest for a Eobard Without is the, medallion, the Hunter is our only way leader. to get the rest of the spear. You need me to get it out of him. Hunter's mind is locked away. I've got the key. Is this some technique you picked up with the League of Assassins? The League didn't call me the magician for nothing. I'll be quick about Literally, it. Literally, no one ever called you that. Our priority has to be identifying this speedster. Of course you'd say that. I mean, he is the one that killed your boyfriend, so... He's at the center of this, and you can't defeat an enemy that you don't know. Look, Amaya's it's right. True. Look, I couldn't get Hunter to remember because his memories aren't buried or locked away. They're gone. It's like his old self didn't exist. Are you sure about that? Do you think you can do any better? You are welcome to try. We, Mr. Thon has this habit of treating me like a henchman. Yeah. Do you know what all henchmen have in common, Captain Hunter? They're expendable. No thoughts on this one? The thing that all henchmen have in common is that they all end up dead. Yeah, they're expendable. Fate, I will start you off with an easy question. Right eye or left eye how about no eyes second question when was the last time you had any dental work done what? Oh, oh god it may not be in the best condition but then again captain hunter is british there's some Markings on here, like a barcode. Account How did you know that would be there? Security deposit box in Switzerland. Oh, you got somewhere to go? Funny, just like clockwork. Take the time sphere back to 2025 and secure the rest of the spear. The next one of you who screws up will lose more than just a tooth. Dad? I didn't know you were yeah, going to okay. Dad. Well, I, I, I wanted to surprise you. Oh. Wait, your colleague is your daughter. Lily, this is my friend Jefferson. Jefferson, this is my daughter. Nice to meet you. Oh, well, for one thing, it's throwing off low levels of ionic radiation. Is that an ionic transmographer? I've never seen one smaller than a house. Yeah, I had an idea for hyperminiaturization when I was in Tahiti. It's Shortwave a magical place. Pulse. Temporal navigation vessel? I... I absolutely cannot it's called believe time it. Um, hello, who are you? Oh, hi. I, I'm Lily. I'm, I'm Martin's daughter. We didn't know Martin had a daughter. Yeah, you told me you didn't have kids. Well, I like to keep my private life private. There's private, then there's lying. But if your plan goes south, it's not our speedster friend you need to worry about. One thing I hate more than taking orders from him is being threatened by you. Luckily, Damien, I don't find you threatening. Oh, you look a little scared there. Wait, she wants to try networking an ancient amulet with an advanced AI system? <laughs> I'm totally helping. Fine, then I would appreciate it if you, if none of you would reveal to her that she's an aberration. Why are you looking at me? All the speedsters the Flash face are either dead or his friends. Or people he thought were his friends and are now dead. Okay, we will figure this out, and in the meantime, Although it's Lily still him. <laughs> you go to the bank associate and you tell them you want to access security box 4587. 4587, right. Uh, wh wh what do I do then? Bring the contents of said box back to us. If you don't, you'll be killed. Really? What? 
I'm motivating him. This would be easier if we just killed everybody. Hi, how are you? I love Yeah, but then you'd get the attention of the legends and I'm sure. Same. Thorn. It's strange how he never stays in one place for very long. Perhaps that's why they refer to them as speedsters. Mm. What about what he said to us earlier? That he wanted to kill one of us? No, that he didn't know why he was relying on us. I mean, fair question. Why does a time traveling speedster need to rely on anyone? Thon's hiding. Good question. Something. All right. Oh. Let's go over this again. Mm, oh, right, Sarah. Mm -hmm, again and again. And again. We're obviously dealing with a new player. No, an old player. Is, it's someone you and your friends haven't encountered before. Which no, means they the have. Speedsters from the future, which makes sense because speedsters can time travel. He knows what we want to do with the Spear of Destiny, but he's being very coy about his plans. Does he want to fix, um, pleasing towards the panel? The way that he died. Excuse me. Because how is he alive though? I don't understand that. Right, so why, uh, why is it not working? Voice ideas next. You need to speak your access code. Access code. Oh boy. Oh boy. But we can't just let them call security. I'm calling security. Great idea. Security. No, this security is awesome. Try and run, and I will find you and feed you your testicles. Okay. underestimated the size of the artifact's data stream. We'll fry the ship's CPU and we'll spend the rest of our lives stranded in the temporal zone? <clears throat> the ship's CPU has a name. Sorry, Gideon. Can we at least talk about this before you connect? Oh my god, we killed her. Artificial intelligences cannot, by definition, be killed, Dr. Palmer. Yes, I know. <gasps> <laughs> nice work, Doctor. Uh, doctor? You don't happen to have any champagne on this ship, do you? Uh, Did that say Guggenheim? Mm. I like the fake food never tasted so good. Fake food for a fake person. Me. What did you say? What are you not telling me? <clears throat> me. Out of the bag haircut. You may as well tell her. Tell me what? But tell me what? There's a reason he looked at you, sweetheart. I don't want to rain on your parade, but you're a. Uh, Is this necessary? You're a time aberration. Ray? What is a time aberration? Um, I think maybe you should talk to your dad. She doesn't need to know this. You recall how we resolved disputes within the League? Mm hmm. Now, I suggest you choose a blade that matches that sharp tongue of yours. Excuse me for a second. Gladly. Am I an aberration? That word could never describe who you are or how much you mean to me. So it's true? Please let me explain. That's why you were acting so weird when you visited Central City the first time. This is a nightmare. Oh, Lily, I'm so sorry. This is not how I wanted you to find out. No. No, I get it. You didn't want kids when you first came on board this time ship. And now you have me. Okay, stop, stop, time out, time out. Can you see that this is what your boss wants for his underlings to be at one another's throats? Like, literally? He is not our boss. Did he call us underlings? Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, henchmen. Just like the movie The Good, The Bad, and The Ugly. You know, three bad guys, no one knows who to trust, so they all end up screwing each other over. It's an interesting theory. Thawne doesn't treat us as equals. Even the hippie knows it. And he also knows that the only way to stop Thawne from screwing us over is for us to work together. Just tell her you love her. That's what dads do. Clearly, you never met my father. Mm -hmm. I feared that history would repeat itself, that I would be the kind of father that he was. 
We're legends. Gray. Changing history is what we do. But when Barry does it, he gets scolded. What if instead of creating a person like you did with Lily, our mystery speedster erased himself from history? But why would he want to do that? I don't know, but it'll explain why we don't have any evidence of his existence. Okay, so we just need to ID someone who doesn't exist. Eobard Thorne. Thorne was erased from existence when his progenitor, Eddie Thorne, committed suicide in order to stop him. Which will explain why the Time Masters didn't have a file on him. But if Thorne doesn't exist, then how? He was protected from his ancestor's death because he was a member of the Speed Force. Uh, it's a little complicated. A little? Okay. Oh. All right, that's pretty impressive, Malcolm. But how did you get Hunter's passcode? It's not Hunter's. It's the bank manager's security override code. It only cost him three fingers. <sighs> Going somewhere? No. I just needed to use the bathroom. Yes. Does this look like a spear to you? It most certainly does not. It's a mnemonic archive. I'm sorry, are we supposed to know what that means? Since it won't be invented for a century, no. This device is designed to store memories. Rip hunters, I'd assume. Ah. What if he's running from something? But running from what? Time. Time takes time to harden. And if Don ceased to exist the moment his great, great whatever killed himself, then Maybe he has to keep moving in order for his own non-existence not to catch up with him. What? That doesn't even begin to make any kind of sense. Me. I don't... We need a bit more of a guarantee that you're going to uphold your end of our bargain. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll guarantee you one thing. If you don't open that door, I'll kill you. That's not really stopping you. I mean, you can still just phase through things, right? Oh. You could have gotten in this vault all by yourself. Why didn't you? And for that matter, why would a man who can travel through time always be in such a hurry? We don't have time for this. Oh, I've got all the time in the world. If you do not open that door, he is going Can't to he kill us. He is coming for me. Who's coming for you? It's not a who. It's a. It's a. a I don't understand. They could face. The Flash pulled me from the timeline. He held me captive for months, and when I finally got loose, I found myself pursued by something. He can sense the speed force. That's a. Uh, it's trying to kill me. Last season of the Flash. So that's why you like a shark. Right. So you say this thing is attracted to the speed force. What if you don't use it? What are you suggesting? That you stop running. <laughs> Is it not gonna be able to sense him? Remember, like because as he's long not as you running. Stay still. He can't sense you. Easy, Bart. I didn't want children. But if there's one thing my travels aboard the Wave Rider have taught me, it's that time often doesn't provide us with what we want, but it, it's quite adept at giving us what we need. I just don't want there to be any more secrets between us. Well, in that spirit, I suppose I should tell you that I am one half of a nuclear-powered superhero called Firestorm. <laughs> oh, so not funny, Dad. <laughs> you would hardly be doing Captain Hunter any favors if we just restored the memories without taking the liberty to address some of his shortcomings. What, like stopping him biting his nails? <laughs> not exactly. Can I help you with something, soldier? Uh, no, General Washington, I'm fine. You, on the other hand... Oh, okay. Cool. He's uh, evil now. Um, it, that's the part of the amnesia stories that I'm not a fan of, but okay. 
Um, alrighty -o. Well, that's uh, Legends of Tomorrow, Season 3, Episode 10. Um, it was a pretty good episode. Uh, we learnt more about the Legion of Doom, which, by the way, I actually really like as villains. They're kind of cool. I like it. I like that it's not just, like, one villain, it's, like, three. It's great. Um, and now four, I guess, because of Rip. Great. Um... Yeah, this is a pretty good episode. I enjoyed um, Malcolm and uh, Damien just fighting each other the whole episode. That was funny. Um, and then they came to like a alliance, which was good. Um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one. Uh -oh.